क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन दैट वॉज मल्टी करेक्ट चॉइस और इट्स इज अ होजोंटल फोर्स एफ इज अप्लाइड एट द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ अ सिलेंड्रिकल ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मास एम रेडियस आर पर पेंटिकुलर टू द एक्सेस एस शून इन दिगर कॉफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ग्राउंड इज गिवन एज अव सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग विद एक्सलेशन ए एक्सलेशन टू टू ग्रेविटी इज जी गिवन दैट द ऑब्जेक्ट इज रोलिंग विदाउट स्लेब and we need to find the correct statements out of the four given statements so uh, first we can make this uh, uh, question simplified and uh, for that say we need to draw the free body diagram of object and we need to write the forces you find external force is going to be there gravitational force is going to be there normal force is going to be there friction is going to be in backward direction so one thing we need to test whether this friction direction is backward yes it has to be why and how so you say this center of mass you are applying a force on the center of mass so this entire body would like to translate hence this point will be having tendency to move forward hence friction has to be in backward direction is just like front wheel of your bicycle which is free so um, friction is backward good um, and this friction is of course uh, by the ground on the wheel or on this uh, cylindrical object now center of mass is going to move with acceleration a as well as it has to rotate like this in order to have a no slip condition and uh, this acceleration angular acceleration is will be provided by the torque of the friction of course about the center so newton's laws of motion that means translatory motion will say the total force in the forward direction must be equal to mass into acceleration so f minus f static is going to be equal to m into a okay and uh, torque equation will say about the center of mass torque is going to be given by only friction these forces will not be able to give any torque because their line of action is passing through the center itself so torque is going to be static friction to the distance that's radius perpendicular distance is radius is equal to i alpha i is the moment of inertia alpha is the angular acceleration about the center or about the axis of the cylinder no slip condition since we want the cylindrical object not to slip that means this point should have acceleration Zero, so A will be in the forward. R alpha is going to be backward. You know these things, so you need to know, of course. So this A is going to be equal to R alpha. Now these three equations, which are very basic for this rotation motion, can be handled together. And if we handle together, so what we can say, uh, we can divide this by R cube maybe, or you can simply say like um, this R can be brought down side and we can multiply one more R so this becomes I upon R square R alpha R alpha is A so basically it's going to be I upon R square into A this is M A now you can add these two equations so F as will get cancelled out so F will be equal to M plus I upon R square into A that's how I simplified it so uh, acceleration now we can calculate out of this but that will require the moment of inertia. and we know for cylindrical object we need to know whether the solid case or hollow case so if it is solid cylinder that means solid case we are considering then moment of inertia is going to be about its axis mr square by 2 and then the acceleration turn out to be if you put this i is equal to mr square by 2 so this become m by 2 so overall number this become 3m by 2 so a becomes 2m uh, 2f upon 3m similarly for hollow case we can check moment of inertia becomes mr square we know that so it becomes m plus m that is 2m so acceleration is f upon twice m now we got to know acceleration now let's see options what they are asking for first option reads uh, for the same f whatever the force we have applied the value of a does not depend on whether the cylinder is solid or hollow see the two cases and we are getting the different answers that means acceleration value depends on the case whether it's a solid or not that means a is not a correct choice or correct statement now b says for a solid cylinder maximum possible value of a would be what now what we have calculated from here that is uh, a value dependent on a uh, force f but it says maximum we need to find now read this equation second equation separately so from that we can say fs is static force is going to be i upon r square i just uh, explained now we uh, say that uh, static friction is a self adjusting so depending upon force f this will be adjusting itself but for a particular value of f it can reach to its max value 
when f reaches to max, uh, this fs reaches to its max value this number is a constant so a reaches to its max value that's what it is trying to ask so a max is going to be basically f s max r square divided by i now this we need to check for solid cylinder so let's take the case of solid cylinder and for solid cylinder moment of inertia is mr square by 2 so can put over here moment of inertia expression so that will be mr square by 2 then you'll find uh, r square will disappear moreover statics static friction's maximum value is fixed that is mu into normal reaction normal reaction is going to balance mg so it's basically mu into mg now if you simplify then m is also getting simplified and it turned out to be 2 mu g so what we got is the maximum possible acceleration for no slip condition in case of solid cylinder it's going to be twice mu g by the way option b says the same thing hence b is going to be the correct choice now we need to move forward and check whether c and d uh, uh, whether they are correct or not so c reads the magnitude of frictional force on the object due to ground that means the value we are talking about this is always mu mg i just explained this is static friction is a self-adjusting and it will take the values depending on the force f basically depending on the value of a which depends on the force so it can take values from ranging from zero onwards and up to maximum value which is mu mg so its max value is mu mg but not always not always it says always so statement c is wrong not correct got it and the d option says for a thin walled hollow shell cylinder so we talked about a hollow cylinder case right acceleration value is going to be f by 2m yes we calculated and it was indeed f by 2m means option d is also correct so finally we are getting option d to be correct option b to be correct option a to be incorrect and option c is also incorrect so b and d are the right responses thank you